watching CBS 2 News This Morning in High Definition. Bracing for Danny. The Tri-State is bracing for another messy weekend with rain and rough surf on one of the final weekends of summer. We have team coverage. And a final goodbye for the last son of Camelot. Final services today for Senator Ted Kennedy. Good morning. It is 6 a.m. on this Saturday, August 29th. I'm Cindy Shue. And I'm Ross Palumbo in for Mary Calvi. More on Ted Kennedy's funeral in just a little bit. But first this morning, the Tri-State is bracing for Danny as the storm makes its way up the eastern seaboard. We've already had to deal with torrential rains. We have live team coverage from the beaches to the businesses affected by the dismal weather. We begin with meteorologist Elise Finch and for Megan Glaros with the forecast. Elise. Well, good morning to you both. All right, thanks, Jay. From the beaches to summer businesses, CBS 2's Deborah Garcia live on Coney Island with more on how the hits just keep on coming for the city's summer economy. Good morning, Deborah. CBS 2 News. Thanks, Deborah. Elise will have the latest on Danny's track in just a couple of minutes, and you can track its progress yourself throughout the day on our website, WCBSTV.com. Well, he survived a fiery plane crash and drug rehab, but sadly this morning, a popular celebrity DJ is dead. Adam Goldstein was well known, even hung out with Hollywood starlets, but it was his talented DJing that made him a star. CBS 2's Pablo Guzman has the story. CBS 2 News, Saturday morning. Check your lottery tickets. There are two new millionaires this morning, and one of them is right here in New York City. Two winning tickets were sold for last night's Mega Millions drawing. One winning ticket was purchased in the Bronx, the other in California. The winners will split the $333 million jackpot. That comes to an estimated $166 million apiece. So here are the winning numbers, 37, 1, 17, 31, 54, and the Mega Ball is 31. And of course, if you won, give Cindy and I there you go. A call right. here at the studio. <laughs> We're free for lunch. All right, it is 6.09 and still to come the latest in the Michael Jackson investigation and a celebration today for the King of Pop. Also this morning, saved from a near abduction. Now the family of a local teen is trying to help find the suspect. And the third time's a charm. We're going to take you to a rare night time launch for the shuttle discovery. And shake up the whipped cream. The Yankees go to extra innings for a dramatic finish. First though, Elise has the latest look at Danny. Well, Danny is now... The Los Angeles County Coroner is now confirming that Michael Jackson's death was a homicide, primarily caused by two drugs. Investigators say the cause of death was acute intoxication from the anesthetic propofol. This now causes major problems for the doctor who was there when Jackson died. Jackson's personal physician, Dr. Conrad Murray, admitted to police that he gave Jackson propofol on the morning of June 25th after a series of sedatives failed to help him sleep. Filmmaker Spike Lee will honor Jackson's birthday tonight with a block party in Brooklyn. The party for the King of Pop will be held here in Prospect Park. Brooklyn native Spike Lee collaborated with Jackson on the music video for They Don't Care About Us. Lee's been a fan of Jackson since the singer first performed with the Jackson 5. The Brooklyn Borough President will proclaim today Michael Jackson Day at the celebration. Jackson would have been 51 years old today. Time now 621 coming up at the bottom of the hour. The latest on tropical depression, Danny. And next indoor and out. We have some great family friendly activities. Your weekend picks are next. This is CBS 2 News, Saturday morning. You're watching CBS 2 News this morning in high definition. Eye on the storm as Danny brushes past the tri-state. Parts of our area can expect some pretty severe weather. A CBS News reporter severely injured in Afghanistan, Kami McCormick struck by a roadside bomb while covering the deadliest month in that war-torn nation. And a final farewell for Senator Edward Kennedy. The liberal lion will be laid to rest next to his brothers at Arlington National Cemetery. Good morning. We're coming up on 6.30 on this Saturday morning. I'm Cindy Shue. And I'm Ross Palumba. The top story of the day, the weather and what tropical depression Danny will do around here. We have team coverage this morning, beginning with Elise Finch with a look at the storm track. Uh, good morning to you. Ross, I'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Elise. For the second week in a row, the beaches are taking the brunt of the ocean storm. The last few weekends of the summer are going to be a washout for beachgoers. Lifeguards today again warning surfers to stay out of the waves. CBS 2's Jay Dow live at Smith Point Park with more on dealing with Danny. Jay. Family, friends, and four presidents will honor and say goodbye to the liberal lion of the Senate this morning. Senator Ten Kennedy is currently lying in repose at the JFK Library. Funeral services will be held in Boston today before he will be laid to rest with his brothers at Arlington National Cemetery. CBS 2's Karen Brown has the story from Boston. CBS 2 News. 
Well, joining us this morning is Edward Klein, author of the book, Ted Kennedy, The Dream That Never Died. Mr. Klein, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. This is the greatest senator of the last 50 years. And indeed, the subtitle to your book is The uh, Fall to Rise, correct? So mm -hmm. really, it's a story of him overcoming his personal demons. That's right. It's a, really a story of redemption. It's an amazing story. You know, most of those eulogizing the senator uh, over the past few days have spoken about his common touch and his, uh, rem his memory of everyone uh, remembering their faces, their names. Yes. That was really his secret, wasn't it? Well, yes. He not only could remember faces and names, but he knew all the intimate, private details of a person's life. So I'd say he's got the inside track. Do you think the replacement is going to happen before the five-month waiting period, as the senator had wished? I think so, because, you know, the Democrats really run Massachusetts. Remember, our coverage of the Ted Kennedy funeral continues throughout the morning on The Early Show and on CBS2 at 10 a.m. A roadside bombing in Afghanistan has injured CBS News correspondent Cammie McCormick. McCormick, seen here with American troops, was on assignment for CBS News Radio covering Afghanistan's recent elections. She was traveling with U.S. soldiers when an explosion hit their convoy. McCormick underwent surgery and is now in stable condition this morning. She's been with CBS News for 11 years, based out of New York City. Time now, 642, still to come, a wild scene outside of a Pennsylvania courtroom. What caused this man to snap and attack? attack reporters and now will he go before the judge himself state of emergency in california we have the latest on wildfires that are ravaging la suburbs and tiger trouble at the barclays will the world's number one golfer rebound at liberty national annalise will they get the third round in well we are going to see lots of rain today Chaos erupts outside a Pennsylvania courtroom. The father of a woman accused of faking her own abduction and skipping town with her daughter goes after a group of cameramen. Take a look. Hey, 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 hey. That's William Siner lunging at photographers, waiting in the hallway, shoving one of them into a bench. His daughter, Bonnie Sweeten, had just been sentenced to nine years for the scam. No charges are expected to be filed against her father, though. Time for a look at sports right now. A rookie surges into the lead at the Barclays. And Robinson Cano comes through for the Yankees. CBS News' Otis Livingston has the highlights. Have a great day. Time now, 6.53. And we're back in a moment. Well, now let's check in with Erica Hill, Chris Raggy, and Lonnie Quinn to see what's coming up next on The Early Show. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Rob. Good, Good morning. morning. Good to see the two of you this morning. Coming up on The Early Show in just a couple of minutes. Uh, a little bit help that friend of mine. <laughs> Another story on sex drive. Can't miss that, <laughs> All huh? All right. Hey. Thanks a lot, you guys. We'll see you soon. All right, let's check in with Elise for the latest on our weather. Well, it is going to be a rainy day, and you'll see some more sun. All right, thanks a lot, Elise. Well, the early show is up next. When we come back at 9, the hottest fall accessories. Also this morning, the rain isn't going to put a damper on the kickoff to the U.S. Open. We preview Arthur Ashe Kids Day. And we'll continue to track Danny as the storm comes into the tri-state area.